So, Sandra, I was thinking about this whole Christian life thing. You know I'm new to all this. Yes? Well, I know that the tithe is 10% of my income, but what about the offerings? How much should it be? This is actually a common question. I know something that will help you out. So, to avoid being driven by our changing impulses, the Bible suggests us to purpose, to vow something to God in our hearts about regular offerings. But how should this vow be? I mean, should I just vow an amount to be given regularly? Well, I would suggest that you consider at least four aspects. Number one is priority. God first must be your motto in every part of life. That includes financial stewardship. Jesus tells us to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And God also promises to provide for those who give the first fruits of all, their increase, before any other expense are met. It's a matter of faith. The second aspect is regularity. You know how our hearts are deceitful, right? So the regularity of the offering should not be determined by the calendar, the desires of the heart, calls from the pulpit, or sympathy for a missionary project or a worker. Instead, it should be determined by God's initiative to give. So, every time He provides a financial blessing, we must recognize its divine origin by tithing and giving promise from it. Number three has to do with a system. The Bible suggests a proportional percentage-based system as a fair way to give back to God. It means that if we specify a percentage, we give back to Him, as an offering, that same proportion from everything that He gives us. And, of course, if He doesn't give us anything, neither are we supposed to give Him anything. It's like a partnership. Another advantage of this proportional system is that the heart will not be tempted to waver from too little to too much, according to our changing emotions. Finally, the last aspect is the period. It is important to establish a period for your vow, which is your promise, maybe a year, six months, and then evaluate and recommit for the same or a different percentage. Does it make sense? Totally. I appreciate the explanation, Professor Sandra. <laughs> you silly. While you worship the Lord today, renew your vows before Him. Purpose in your heart a fixed percentage as your promise to be returned to Him after every financial blessing He pours onto your life. May we put our desires last and God first.